hello guys welcome to my channel my name is sharon and thank you so much for tuning into this video so in today's video actually we're starting off on a wednesday and i have to go to the library because it's very early in the morning and i go to the library early in the morning i do an extra one hour of studying before classes begin and i try to come back in the library around break and lunch and that should add up to around two hours of studying. So yeah, this is me going to the library. So I just got out of class, we were having clinical science and I really like my clinical science teacher which is very difficult for me to say because he is very bigoted, he does go out of his way to offend as many, <laughs> as many marginalized groups as he can but I never come out of his class like confused, I'm always up to date. So that is that, it's now break time, I'm going to study anatomy because we're going to UTH, going to UTH. We're going to UTH. We're going to UTH. Yay! Say hello, Chow. Okay, so that's Chow. You guys know him from being on my thumbnail on the other vlog. I don't know why you're trying to act so suspect. Like, so uh, people don't know. They know you. Hi, everybody. And you have a fleet of one. Let try. At least this is going to help you in understanding your coursework and then you're going to have a more engaged relationship with your lecturer. But then this is difficult to achieve because. Lectures are busy with other classes, so in a bit to achieve this goal, we'd like to engage senior students, so this would be upperclassmen teaching these classes as teaching assistants. So that's my very first question. The best of March, if you wake up in the morning... <laughs> <laughs> Place your vote on Joshua Mumba and let's work together because I know we can make Unilas great and I know there's nothing that we cannot achieve if we work together. Thank you so much. We're now at UTH. We're going to be doing. What are we going to be doing, Chow? We're going to be dissecting the abdomen. Dissecting the abdomen. See the contents of the stomach and the duodenum and what else? The esophagus. Oh, the esophagus. <laughs> liver. Yeah. Super fun. I always like can't show you guys us dissecting because that's illegal. And YouTube will, <laughs> will block my channel real quick before I even start. But anyways, yeah. Say hello. That's Jason. He's our class rep. He's very tall, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He's going up to see my brother. <laughs> oh god. What did you see? Ah, uh, you know, you know, the usual. The one usual. Or two, one or two things. What did you cut? What did you cut, eh? 
<laughs> Is are you guys the group that saw the that opened the colon and touched poop? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's a group no, that touched poop. <laughs> so my battery died there, poor Chwanzi. But yeah, it's the next day and I actually have a test on this day, a public health test. And I have been studying for it and obviously once again before school starts, I was doing some finishing touches on the public health um, test. I was doing my Anki flashcards. I am obsessed with Anki. I was doing my Anki flashcards, making sure I'm filling in as well as going through some of them. And yeah, that's basically what I was doing. So my test is over and it was a very decent test. It was actually not bad at all. She brought everything she said was gonna come. She brought everything from her notes. So I can't really complain. I don't think I got a hundred though. I got confused at a few of the questions, but overall, not bad. Not a bad test at all. Now it's lunchtime. I have a lab, so I'm just gonna eat real quick and then go to the library, finish my flashcards and then Go for my lap, then go home and sleep because I'm sleep deprived. How was the test, child? I've never been through. I know. So, they didn't see and were still standing for five. It's okay. You can give us a chance. I have a Yeah? How was the test, Chawanzi? Eh, we'll just see how the results will come out, honestly. I don't want to even estimate anything. How was the test, Davidson? It was lit. It was rude. How was the test? I'm not that sick again. It was all right. Just a 50. 50. Uh, so you're yeah, not Mr. Average. Stop lying. Hey. Yeah, Judas, you're, you're saying just 50, then you get 100. 50. How was the test? The uh, test? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, don't post this. Why don't you ask me? <laughs> you're not in our class, but okay, don't, how was your don't, test? Don't, don't post this. In fact, I'm going to a bad website to make sure you don't post this. Say it. I know how to edit now. Oh, God. So you're going to post this? I'm going to post it. <laughs> no, the test was actually decent. Yeah, you finished very early. Mm -hmm. okay. You have much to write. I am on time. Hmm. Okay, well, just a second, yeah, a... Ah, I didn't have a test. Okay, so we're now going home because our what is it called, Nigeria? Oh, our lab was cancelled, so we're going home, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Nigeria, wanna say hi? This is Maisha, if you guys have seen her before, she has her own channel, it's called The Modest Med. I'll link it in the description, you guys should check it out. <laughs> they can't hear your small voice. Oh, okay. My voice is not actually small. But anyway. Smile. You can't even see. <laughs> oh, actually we need... Um, pause. pause next to the tree. Like how our parents used to pause. Go pause. Uh, in the last clip that you saw, Chawanzi was saying something and then my battery died. But essentially, yeah, we went to UTH and we had our dissections. We were opening the abdomen. We got to see the stomach, the esophagus, and the duodenum in addition to everything else. It was fun. It was a fresh cadaver, so we got to really like remove the lungs, the heart everything so that was a lot of fun and i realized that a lot of my housemates are they had a lot of questions about cadavers and so if you're watching this and you're like in pre-med or you're about to start pre-med and you have questions about cadavers well i would like to just say that i was also nervous my first time seeing a cadaver it was a mixture of excitement and fear i was also very scared because like 
hello they're dead but mostly i was excited i was mostly very excited and so when we saw the cadavers i was really excited <laughs> and i was a little bit scared because i was just like wow they really they used to be alive and i really appreciated the great donation they made to science because they donated their bodies to science because we wouldn't be where we are in medicine without cadavers and yeah but it's good to see that when i see the cadaver i just instantly think of the physiology behind it the anatomy you know i'm not necessarily thinking about any of that other stuff and hopefully when i start clinicals it will be the same way i won't be thinking oh no this person just died in front of me <laughs> i'll be thinking hmm, what is about the physiology of that okay that sounds heartless <laughs> but it's true so anyways if you're watching this and you're really scared of cadavers and they are that's that's my issue she's always in my videos but if you're really scared of cadavers you have no reason to be scared of them they are vehicle to which we reach our destination would that make sense yeah so yeah does that and then i filmed a separate video while i was doing a study with me i don't know if i'm gonna amalgamate the two we're gonna see but yeah so i'm gonna spend the rest of my day relaxing because school is cancelled tomorrow <laughs> school is cancelled so i'm gonna relax take a chill pill and then i'm gonna do my anki flashcards i cannot stop raving about anki it literally takes me 10 minutes to do an entire topic of flashcards and if i was writing it it would have taken me like 30 minutes just typing is 10 minutes and they're there forever and the fact that they're regulated with regards to how often i get asked that question game changer my life has been changed forever so i'm gonna uh try to finish my public health anki because i was writing the public health test and i started doing the anki while I was studying are oh, so effective so yeah i'm gonna who is that oh snap that's diana say hi diana hi. yes and that's manda come and say hi oh my god hi. <laughs> say hello <laughs> yes that's diana and manda i'm a big fan of anki i said i'm gonna make a, a video in the future reviewing it but there's nothing to review i'm a big fan i'm hooked Game changer, they changed my life. I can't believe I made it this far into medical school without using anti. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna end this vlog here. If you watched to the end and you're not subscribed, why? <laughs> Just why? You obviously like something about the video. Don't be scared, we don't bite this side. So definitely feel free to subscribe, interact with me, and I will link my socials in my description box. Feel free to interact with me outside of YouTube. So until next time, thank you for watching.